Hello everyone, today I am making a very special video because tomorrow it will be exactly one year ago that I made this natural ecosphere. I know that many of you have probably never seen this ecosphere but I still think this could be a very entertaining video for all of you. This ecosphere is still doing very well and it still has lots of life in it. Like this bladder snail you see here, climbing in the dense forest of algae. Quite a good climber, isn't he? This closed ecosystem in its current state contains these bladder snails as well as a few other organisms. But I want to get into more detail later on in the video. First I want to show you how this ecosphere came about and how the ecosystem inside it developed. So let's take a trip down memory lane. This is actually the very first ecosphere I made. I made it on the 10th of December 2017. It was freezing cold outside and it actually hurt a lot to stick my hand in the water and to carry it all the way home. But it was all totally worth it, because it was a lot of fun to make. As you can see here, a day later, it was full of life. There were hundreds of ostracods and other crustaceans swarming all around the jar. This was also the first time we met the nematodes, also known as boogie worm. When I scooped up the dirt I also caught a big fat snail. Along with a smaller one. One week later, a planarian appeared, as well as a lot of these mysterious worms. I still don't know what they are to this day. This was also the time I filmed one of the most iconic shots in this entire series. So now it's been a little over a month since the ecosphere was made. The mysterious worms disappeared. They haven't returned ever since. But a lot of algae started to grow. You can see that little spots of algae are starting to cover the glass of the jar. And algae started to grow on the leaf. It was also producing a lot of oxygen. A new species appeared, Cartesium polypinum. It was also the last time we ever saw Daphnia in this ecosphere. They just sort of went extinct in this ecosystem, which is quite weird considering they are very hardy species. Another new species, Hydra. This was the first and last time we ever saw these in the ecosphere. The planaria were still alive, however, for some reason the nematodes disappeared. Now we're four months in. The algae on the glass got really dense and the biodiversity and sheer amount of life was larger than ever before. I think that that had a lot to do with the fact that it was April. Spring just started and the days were getting longer and the water was getting warmer. As you can see there was a huge number of clam shrimp and they were really big too. 
It was very interesting to see one species do really well in one jar, and to see one species bloom in such a way. The population of planaria was growing a lot as well. They seem to all come from one single ancestor. The amount of ostracults still remained, well, huge. So nothing really changed there. Same goes for the snails. Their population fluctuates a bit more in numbers, but they remain stable. The ostracots, snails and algae are pretty much the only consistent things in the ecosystem. The nematodes had completely disappeared, but interestingly enough, they appeared again. along with a new species of worm. Now it's seven and a half months since the closed ecosystem was closed. The amount of snails has increased again. A gazillion really tiny mysterious crustaceans had appeared. They may be a very large type of paramecium. It's not impossible that these can be seen through a macro lens. But to be honest, I have no idea what these really are. A new species appeared again, which reminded me somewhat of a Cartesian polypinum. But I don't think it's the same. Anyway, it was the first and last time we saw these. The clam shrimp were still there. So, now we are back in the present. The paramecium, or mysterious crustaceans, or whatever they are, are still here. There's just not that many anymore. The amount of bladder snails seems to be relatively the same. There's not as much snails as there were at the peak, but it's still a healthy number. Something else happened as well. The algae on the glass started to get less dense. Something I didn't think could really happen. But I'm also very happy about it, because now I can actually see what is going on inside. The amount of ostracots has gone down quite a bit actually. I am not really sure why, but I'm not afraid they're going to disappear or anything. This particular individual appears to be stuck. I have no idea how it managed to get himself entangled with a single thread of algae, but hey, I'm not here to judge. Besides, it's very convenient for filming. It appears as though the biodiversity has gone down quite a bit. There's no nematodes or planaria or daphnia, hydra, cartesian polypinum. There's still a few copper pots in here though. I think it might be because it is starting to get winter again, shorter days, colder water. It seems like these closed ecosystems are quite sensitive to seasons. Something I didn't really think about when I made this ecosphere. Or maybe this ecosphere is finding its most stable state. Maybe the proper balances are being sorted out. Or maybe when the days are getting longer again and the water is getting warmer again, we will see species reappearing, or new species appearing. Or maybe this ecosphere is slowly dying. I guess only time will tell. This is what happens when you forget to turn off autofocus. I really hope this video shows you how ecosystems, even on such a small scale, can undergo changes and can develop over time. Once you make an ecosphere, a lot of things will happen to it. It isn't just what it is, provided it doesn't crash immediately, of course. 
If you haven't already, I can highly suggest watching all of these videos on the natural ecosphere. I go into much more detail in every update. I made this ecosphere a year ago. That also means that I started live in jars a year ago. In a year I got over half a million views. And at the time of recording this I have 9214 subscribers. I think that's a huge number to achieve within a year. And it's something I'm quite proud of. Some of you have been here from the very beginning. I want to thank you for sticking around for so long. I also want to welcome all new members of the Jarmy. So, that is the one year update on the natural ecosphere. I really hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching.